Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my fall garden tragedy update, guys. This is Boo by Faith, and I am Shaka Faith. Um, I want to show you a couple of things. I know that most of you guys have seen my video where I showed my garden tragedies. So I wanted to show you just a quick update on what things are looking like right now and um, how your garden can recover. So just stick with me. So if you can remember, if I can get out of the light. I had an issue with the cabbage where I just pulled one of the cabbage up because it looked so bad. But as you can see, this one is coming to a beautiful head. And this one as well. The leaves are looking great. Everything is looking great. My pak choy is coming along. It needed that cold snap and it's coming along very well. And one of my friends was asking me about the strawberries that I got from Ison's. So this strawberry that's actually blooming right now, I got from your local big box store. And I've had it for a while. I'm trying to move some of the ants. I've had it for a while, but it's blooming now in the winter. And then these are the ones I got the strawberry plugs from Ison's. And they are rooting really nicely, if you can see in the center that kind of tells you, um, this new bloom kind of tells you that they are rooting themselves into your soil. So what I did was the process of mounding up and I mounded the strawberries up so that whenever they do get water, that the water doesn't sit on the roots of the strawberries. Now, these greens were a part of that garden tragedy they haven't really bounced back as well as i would hoped so what i am going to do is i bought a 17 gallon bucket i bought quite a few of them um, from walmart and i'm going to remove them from this bed and place them in there um FYI, guys, we all know that prices are going up. Those bins that we all were buying that were uh, 17 gallon, they were in my area $5 and some change. They've gone up about 90 cents or so. So if you want to get some, go ahead and get some if you can find them because here in Zone 8A, Georgia, they weren't located in every one of our Walmarts. Um, just like canning supplies. Our canning supplies are easy to find, but they're not in every Walmart. There are particular Walmarts that you go in and they are in there. And we have quite a few Walmarts in this area. So, but here's another one of those collard plants. And this one is bouncing back a bit better than the other one. That's why I said that I'm gonna go ahead and move it out of that area. Now, the llama beans, on the other hand, they are struggling a bit. And I haven't sprayed anything on them. I haven't put anything on them. I'm just letting them do what they're going to do. Um, if I see within a few more days that they're not doing anything then I'll pull them up and replace them with something else but I like to give the plants a chance and again I'm thankful for my gardening group and of course giving these plants a chance because they did bounce right back see my onions are showing up there but then there's another thing that I wanted to let you guys see. Look at all these pretty, these pretty peas. They're plumping up really well. Oh, and here is my other area where I have strawberries. I'm going to get out of the light. So I put them in this grow bag. And again, you can see where they are rooting well because they are putting on new growth and they all are. So that lets me know that they like the area that they are in. 
But while we are out here, you guys know that we had a cold snap here and I was a little too late, but you know, we can always recover. So I went out to my local store, a store called Lidl, L-I-D-L, and I purchased this winter protection greenhouse. And it took me all of maybe 30 minutes to put it together. And here you can see how it turned out. Now, mind you guys, I purchased a greenhouse from Amazon. And that greenhouse was trash. It didn't last a month, if two weeks. Um, a strong wind came, and no matter how much I weighed it down or anything, it still flew away. And not only did it fly away, <laughs> it the first time it went into my neighbor's backyard. And then once I got it from my neighbor's backyard, then I brought it back over to the yard. And... It just, it fell to pieces. Um, it, it was just ugh, a waste of money is what I felt. But I want to show you guys what I have going on in here. And like I said, um, I may have got to my plants a little late, but I believe in letting them recover. And my sister, Cherie from Black's Tropical Homestead, you know I'm going to be asking you guys for info because when the the cold hit this is what my banana ended up looking like and of course this is what these look like but I do believe that they will bounce back I'm just going to leave them be I'm not going to mess with them I'm going to keep fertilizing them I don't think that they are dead um because this one when I first got it it did the same thing that this one is doing and it bounced back so and again I believe that this one will be just fine I don't think that it is dead so I'm just gonna leave it be and you guys remember my seedlings that I showed you that I placed in here well we had a strong wind um, before I got this before I got this little dome greenhouse, we had a strong wind and it knocked all my seedlings over. And so that's all that I was able to recover. But again, I'm just going to let it um, stay and I'm going to work with what I have. But this is one of the crazy things that I wanted to show you guys. These are my West India Burgerkins and they're steadily surviving steadily growing and you know the some of the leaves have turned brown but again I'm going to continue to water and feed and see if I can overwinter them and see what they do and then another item before I let you guys go because remember I told you this was going to be a short video are my peppers so I wasn't able to grow peppers earlier in the season, but later in the season, I was able to get some of these peppers from my local feed and seed store. And he keeps all of his plants very, very healthy. He gave me a discount because, of course, I was buying them um, what we consider the off season for peppers. And they are thriving very well. As you can see, they're steadily putting on new leaves, new flowers, excuse me, and new peppers are still forming. So again, I'm going to let it do what it wants to do. I'm not going to pull anything up. I'm going to let it continue on. And... This is one of the trees. I have two of them. They're called columnar apple trees. I know that when I was on Broke Farmer 76 Live the other day, he was talking about he didn't like getting trees from the nursery that starts with the I. And not because the trees were bad or anything, but because they come so small. Well, if you can see this tree here, this is called a columnar apple and then that one as well they came to me as a little stick and they grew very well and i've only had them for one season and 
um, they actually did produce one apple, but now if you can see here, I'm going to get a pretty good harvest. If all the fruit actually survives and again, when I first got it and everything began to grow, it just, it was just amazing to be able to see it. It grew quickly and I was able to get fruit off of it. This one, it's putting on new growth, but it's not showing that it will give any fruit as of yet. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, I know that it will give fruit the next season. But thank you guys. Thank you for coming along on this garden tragedy update. Um, I will be bringing you guys along. Let me get you out of the sun. I will be bringing you guys along uh, later on and we'll have a full fall garden, um, a full garden video. So you can see all the things that I have going on out here because I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, I started small, but then I just continued to grow and continue to build. Um, thank you for watching with me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and have faith in your food. Remember, grow your groceries.